Sierra LLC Home Instruction Series presents Hard Start Kit Extend the life of your HVAC compressor Hi guys, I'm Kyle with Sierra LLC Service Manager and today I want to spend a couple minutes talking to you about Hard Start Kits uh, they can be called a number of different things. Uh, the most common is hard start kit, start device, start components, start assist. Uh, just, just so you're aware with the terminology, they all mean the same thing. What it is is a start capacitor and a potential relay. And what it does is it, it gives the compressor an extra boost of power that it needs to get started. The toughest point in any compressor's life is the action of starting, going from being completely stopped to starting up. And when it starts up, it, it pulls something called inrush current. That's how much power it's using, and it's just for a split second when the compressor first turns on. What the start assist device does is helps the compressor start easier so that the amperage is lower when it's starting and that it's in that start stage for less time. We want it to be starting for as little time as possible and pull as low a current as we can. By installing this, we can, we can achieve that. So what we want to accomplish here with the start assist device is to extend the life of your compressor. Really, that's the number one goal with it. The compressor can start over 10,000 times in one cooling season, and it can pull up to 45,000 watts of power every single time it starts. Now, it makes perfect sense to reduce that power that it's pulling and help it start easier each of those 10,000 times that it's starting. By simply installing this device, which needs to be done by a professional, uh, we can easily achieve that for you. And here in Las Vegas, another reason that you're going to want to have this start assist device installed on your system is if you think about it, there are two million people in the valley, hundreds of thousands of residences and businesses that all have air conditioners on them. What that does is in the middle of the summer when we have hundreds of thousands of air conditioners running, the, the voltage that NV Energy supplies to us can end up being a little bit lower than the target that we're looking for. And with a lower voltage, that makes it tougher for the compressor to start. Having a start assist on there can help, help overcome uh, the, the tough starts that the compressor might experience if we have a lower voltage situation. And that's pretty common. We get brownouts here occasionally and, and power surges, voltage drops, and things like that. And having the, the start assist device on there is going to help that compressor start up. So what I'm going to do now is show you a, a demonstration of how much amperage the compressor pulls with the start assist installed and without it installed. What we're looking at here on the screen of the meter is the actual inrush current that the compressor is pulling when it starts up. Uh, again, the inrush current is how much power the compressor uses for a split second when it first turns on. And again, this is going to demonstrate that it's a lower inrush current with the start assist than it is without the start assist. Okay, so I'm going to be starting the compressor without the start assist device installed. Uh, take notice to what the current is on the screen of the meter. Okay, so this is going to be the demonstration of the unit starting with the start assist device installed, which this is the start capacitor, and this component back here is the potential relay. Okay, so the numbers that you're seeing on this screen here on my meter uh, is not necessarily what you would see on your system. It's going to vary from system to system depending on age and the size of the equipment. This particular unit that we're on is a five-ton system, so the inrush current is going to be higher than if you were to be doing the same test on a two or a three ton system. And just remember that this device does need to be installed by a professional. It's not a DIY project. There is high voltage and high amperage involved with this, so there is a risk of personal injury or damage to the equipment. So if you have any interest in having this device installed on your system, uh, make sure that you give us a call and check out all our other videos on our YouTube channel. And thank you for watching today.